All right, guys. My name's Kermit, this is Vanguard Motor Sales, and this right here is a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. This thing is, I guess the, the Pontiacs really, they were like the gentleman's muscle car back in the day, but uh, this thing is uh, a little more muscle than uh, the gentleman's car in its current state. So uh, we're gonna fire this thing up, we're gonna put it up on the hoist, we're going to open the doors, open the trunk, show you every nook and cranny of this car so you can make a good decision in your investment. So let's fire this thing up. Alright guys, this is the front of our 72 Pontiac here. As I said before, these things were, they've kind of filled the, uh, the role of the gentleman's muscle car. Uh, they were for, you know, sporty cars that had a lot of luxury to them. And uh, this one, in its particular state, doesn't really have a Pontiac motor in it. It has a stroked 454 big block in the thing, and this thing has a dyno sheet to prove that it makes 650 horsepower. Uh, it has a big cushy stall converter in it as well. I mean. And that's just the performance of this car. Aesthetically, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, you look like, I mean, with this blue paint, it looks like you could dive right in it as if it was water. Uh, I mean, no flaws on the paint job, as you can see. All your fender gaps for as big of a performance car as this is, all of your fender gaps are, once again, in really good shape. Nothing wrong with that, I mean, at all. Uh, you've got the mirrors on it, too, uh, color match to the car. All the chrome's in excellent shape. Opening the door for you here. I mean, for a performance-oriented vehicle, there ain't nothing wrong with that interior right there. That's beautiful. I mean, and even, you know, once again, I keep uh, pointing out this thing is a heavily modified car. However, you still have uh, the luxuries of dome lights, you know, horn, what have you with this car. I mean, it's really nice. Um, we got the B&M ratchet shifter in this thing as well. Uh, for you Pontiac guys, you know that uh, a lot of the time with these Pontiacs, you would have the shifter where you could actually use it like a, uh, a ratchet shifter uh, when, you, when you slid it to one side. And uh, that one is, may not be a Pontiac shifter, but it is uh, in spirit sort of the same thing. So I, I guess you could say that shifter's got some Pontiac blood in it. Um, you can see the custom gauges with the dash and all that we've got going there. All those gauges work great. Uh, the, speed the speedometer in this thing is actually digital, so it's actually very, very accurate. Uh, the carpet in great shape, floor mats, good shape, everything. We got bucket seats in this thing and they have full reclining and uh, you know, full uh, mobility, I guess you could say. So I mean, you can adjust it to whatever uh, size you're, whatever size you are, I suppose, you can adjust it to be comfortable for you. Uh, and also the bolstered sides are very nice too when you're uh, rounding this thing around corners. Um, back seat looks just as good as the front seat. We got uh, good uh, seat belts in the thing as well in the back. A lot of the time those are lost or jammed down in there, but uh, they're all still here for your passengers that you take. A, say, for example, you want to take the grandkids out in the thing. They can stay planted while you're uh, <laughs> planting them to the back of the seat. Uh, closing the door here. Nothing wrong with that. Door lock, functional. Uh, as far as wheels and tires go, it's sitting on a set of Krager SS. It's very, very uh, period correct for this car. Uh, BF Goodrich uh, radial TAs. Um, this one in particular actually has a disc disc setup. It is power brakes on it, um, and it has uh, everything is proportioned correctly, and you got a good solid pedal in this car. Uh, moving toward the back, deck lid looks like it's in good shape too. I mean, there's no scratches. This car was just recently painted, if you can't tell. I mean, and they did a very good job with it. All of your gaps are in good shape here. You know, I mean, it doesn't really catch your finger or anything like that. Um, the wing's in good shape. The bumper, they painted the bumpers on this car for more of a sleek look, and I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I think, uh, you know, a lot of the time when you get painted bumpers, sometimes will, people will bump things and what have you, but in this car it doesn't look like it's ever been bumped at all. The grandkids haven't been walking past it, swiping their coats across it or anything like that. We'll open the trunk for you guys so you can see what that looks like. All right, guys, plain and simple. Twist the key and it pops right open as it should. Uh, paint on the underside of the deck lid's in great shape. The bumpers are actually there. Um, inside of the trunk looks like it's in good shape. I'd like to point out that the wiring is all in really good shape. Um, all of your, uh, what do you want to call this stuff? Um, keep wanting to say belt line, but it's actually weather stripping. 
Uh, that's all been replaced, and they've actually glued it down very well, and it, it doesn't look like as, it, as if it would ever leak, which explains why the trunk is in good a shape as it's in, because uh, no rust back here. doesn't look like it's ever been patched. All the factory uh, seam sealer looks like it's even still there. Um, and the patches, that actually goes for your quarter panels down in here, too. I mean, there's no rust down in here. I can feel my hand right down in the very nook and cranny of it, and there's no rust down in there. It feels like it's all factory. So there's, a, there's also that positive. Uh, looking forward here, you can see the back, of the, uh, the back of the back seat, and there it looks like there's no water damage there as well. All of the, uh, the jam here is nicely painted along with the car, so that tells me that, and also you can see that the bolts are not painted as well, which means they actually took this car apart to paint it, which is, it explains why it looks as good as it does. Closing the trunk, make sure you got the key in your hand for one so you don't close it in the trunk. That simple. Walking around the car here, quarter panel, looks good as the rest of the car. The roof, I mean, you can see all of our signs and stuff like that, and the reflection of the roof, it's that nice. Now, opening this door here, just like the uh, driver's door, nice and simple, nothing wrong with that. Door panels are in good shape. Run your hand along the bottom of here, which is where you see a lot of rust with these things because of the belt lines. Uh, they always go bad, but nothing, nothing here. Um, carpet continues to look good. Dash pad looks to be... Uh, recently replaced and of course they've done dash work as I mentioned before. I'd like to point out here this actually came with the car. This here is the tag that would be stuck underneath the rear seat so when they took this thing apart to restore it they saved the original tag for uh, the build of the car along with this uh, the protector plate here. So that's added things that go with the car kind of nostalgic things for the, those of guys who uh, like it. Let's see here close the door. Just that simple also completely functional just like a normal car should be I mean that's pretty much it guys this thing is a beautiful beautiful Pontiac I mean it it, it runs every bit as good as it looks I'm, I tell you what and it really runs <laughs> so if you'd like uh, to have this thing in your driveway make sure to call Tom we're gonna put this thing up on the lift here in a little bit we're gonna go take it for a little ride for you guys and uh, I guess we'll see you then all right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. going for a ride in our 72 Le Mans. As you guys can see, nice and streetable, nothing wrong with that. I mean, barely any throttle input at all and it did, you know, no stumbles, nothing like that. A lot of these things that you normally kind of attribute to cars with uh, single plane intake manifolds like this one's got. Uh, as you guys can see, we got all of our functional gauges here. We got temperature, Oil pressure, both of those very important with performance motors. Gas gauge is functioning, voltage gauge doing something. We got, uh, uh, can't talk, speedometer. And we got a uh, tachometer as well. The speedometer is electronic, which means you get that added accuracy. Coming up to a stop sign here, I'd like to point out no pulls, nothing wrong with that right there. Brakes work just fine. Now I mentioned in the uh, other part of my video the, the function of this ratchet shifter, which I'm about ready to show you here. Very easy. All right, now the car's in first gear. Third. Man, this motor runs good. Stopping nice and easy, doesn't pull, doesn't do anything it shouldn't. Functional horn. Wipers work. And look at that, even the park function. Going around the corner here. Nice thing about this thing is you normally, you normally with the uh, stall converters, they're very, very squishy. This one really doesn't seem uh, all too bad, which means that they've actually, uh, they've uh, matched the camshaft to the uh, stall converter very well in this car, which makes the added drivability just so much better. Now, here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are shipping experts. We can send this car all around the world if you want. If you want to uh, even send a, uh, 
this guy's doing here. If you do happen to want to send an inspector to come see this car, we'll accommodate that. We'll put it up on the hoist for him, just like we're going to put it up for the hoist on you guys here in this video. Wait for the traffic to clear. Turn signals functioning just as they should. I'd like to show you in this car is my favorite button, the radio button. Yep, that's the cutouts that I'm going to point out in the uh, undercarriage video here. Man, this motor runs good. Trans shifts pretty smooth too. It's something you uh, something you normally get with a lot of these performance transmissions that generally shift hard. This one's very, very nice and. Uh, once again, I can't press enough the streetability of this car. I also like the custom dash that you see in this thing as well. Alrighty then. Well guys, Vanguard Motor Sales, we're in the Detroit area, so if you do want to stop by and see us, we're uh, right off of Keel Street and, um, and uh, Five Mile. Just make a call in if you want to check out this car or if any, any of our other great inventory. Just make a call in, make sure we got it here at the shop and not in storage, and come on in and see it. All right, guys, we're going to put her up on the hoist for you guys so you can check out the awesome undercarriage and my favorite part, the engine. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. In this portion of the video, you're going to see what makes this thing such a beast. Uh, starting from the back forward, you can see this guy took a lot of time in making sure that the underside of this car was every bit as nice as the top. I mean, I, I've looked over this thing extensively and I mean, the metal work is in good shape. The craftsmanship is really, really high on this car. Uh, gas tank looks like it was uh, replaced at one point. Very, uh, you know, no rust or anything like that on it. The straps were replaced very recently. Uh, going into it, there's some custom work here where he has AN fittings and what have you going into the tank. So he has had this tank out of it and more than likely it's been cleaned. Uh, next to that is an electronic fuel pump here. This is a really, really, really uh, monstrous fuel pump for this thing. And once we open the hood, you'll see why this is necessary. But uh, once again, very nice AN fittings and lines going to all of this stuff. Very, you know, race car-esque. Um, back here, we've got a set of gas shocks on the thing. So, I mean, Trying to keep some of the uh, the creature comforts in, in uh, this thing, you know. Uh, let's see here, on either end of the axle, we got a set of disc brakes on it. Um, it of course, that's an a after afterthought add-on or a you know an aftermarket add-on. We got uh, slotted, uh, not slotted, but drilled rotors in it as well for extra cooling. Um, inside this rear end is a uh, 373 gear, and it actually has a Detroit True Track in it. So once again, this guy it was all about performance for this guy. Um, we got stainless lines on the back here along with your flex hoses because you do have calipers, they do move a little bit. Hotchkiss, uh, what is it called, sway bar in the back along with uh, some aftermarket, uh, both lower and upper arms on this thing, fully boxed in, very strong and of course we've got some strengthening uh, Hotchkiss parts here as well. Exhaust, big old monstrous mandrel bent exhaust in this thing and I'd like to also point out the drive shaft too which is of course custom made for, to handle the amount of power that this car makes. Uh, here's that big monstrous AN line going all the way down. Uh, here you're starting to see the cutouts for this thing and that's, this is why it sounds as, as nasty as it does when you get on it because uh, it, there's a switch under the dash which uh, you've seen that actually opens these cutouts and it just it sounds just brutal when you open them. Um, here we got our stainless steel brake line. As I pointed out, all the brake lines are fresh in the car, you know, no big surprise there. I mean, floorboards look like they're great, as I'd mentioned, you know, a lot of fit and finish work on this car. We, uh, we did check the uh, both front and uh, rear U joint, everything was replaced, and I assume it was replaced when this drive shaft was put in it. And I know from my own personal experiences, when you go to buy a, a high performance aftermarket drive shaft, they provide you with aftermarket type aftermarket high performance uh, U joints as well. Trans mount, it's a performance trans mount, one of those polyurethane style bushings, so that's very strong, nothing really to speak of in the way of weakness there. This transmission is a TCI Street Fighter Turbo 400. Uh, this is of course was put together, it was mated to this engine. In front of this, uh, it has a stall converter in it, 
This is roughly a 3,000 uh, stall, as I'd mentioned before, as I'd mentioned earlier in this uh, video series for this car. Uh, nice and cushy, and it's, you know, in, the reason you need this is because the camshaft in this car is uh, rather loud, which gives it that nice rumpity rump sound that you're, uh, you're hearing. Let's see here, moving forward, we got disc brakes in the front, as you could guess, uh, with the rear. The pan on the bottom of this thing here, this is a Moroso pan, um, holds roughly seven quarts of oil uh, with the filter, of course. Uh, this, you, can, you can just tell that this engine is a performance built engine because I mean, you can look at the balancer on this thing. I mean, it, it's a very high, high caliber balancer on this thing. Uh, it's, you got your timing marks really nicely put on it. You know, if you ever want to do some tweaking on your engine, it's a race car, of course, who doesn't want to play with it? Um, see here, trans lines, those are indeed also stainless. We got new looking rubber up front, nothing, uh, no big surprise there. Sway bar up front, greasable bushings, front end nice and tight. We always check these. Uh, upper and lower ball joints, boots look good. Tie rod ends, boots look good. Everything looks to be greasable on this, which is very nice. And of course, we have our gas shocks up front as well, which also is why this thing rides as well as it does. This thing actually in the shop has kind of earned the nickname the Saturday Night Special because this is the kind of car that you can drive around on the street during the day and then Saturday night take it to the racetrack. Thus the name Saturday Night Special. And that, it doesn't, it's not written on the car anywhere, it's just a name that we've dubbed it. Um, the steering box looks like it was out of the car recently, if not replaced entirely for the power steering system that's in this car, and it does look to be like an aftermarket upgrade sort of a thing. Um, we do have, and you'll see this up top, but uh, we do have serpentine belts here as well. Another uh, performance thing is there's nothing worse than slinging a V-belt off a car and putting a dent in the hood. I've done that before. Uh, billet pulleys, we're going to get more to that up top, but I mean this thing is just overall really nice. You're, uh, your skid plate here doesn't look like it's ever had a jack on it. I mean, it really does. not There's not even a scratch in the thing, along with your lower control arms. Bushings look like they're in excellent shape. Frame looks like it looks like, yeah, can't talk. Looks like it's in excellent shape. Even the paint on the bottom of your valance here is, I mean, it looks like it was wet sanded. It's beautiful. Tires in the front look like they're brand new. The tires in the back, they look like they got a little, little bit of wear, a little bit of miles on it, but nothing really wrong with them. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for this portion of it. Let's get to the wheels and tires, and then we can get to my favorite part, the motor. All right, guys, BFG, uh, radial TA, muscle car tire, why not? 225, 70R15 is the size, and it's on a set of Kreger SS's. Let's just, if you want to take a look here, you can see these are slotted and drilled rotors, uh, along with a set of probably performance pads, I would imagine. Um, take a look at the paint up here. You can see everything is in really nice shape. Looks like the undersides of these uh, inner fender covers or inner fenders are in great shape as well. If not replaced, definitely sandblasted and painted as they should be when you're going to restore a car. Let's check out the rear. All right, guys, back here we got a set of BFG radial TAs, same as the front, but as you can imagine, there's quite a bit more meat back here, and it's needed. Uh, these are 275 60R15s, once again, Kreger SS. These here are the uh, drilled rotors for the back as well, very performance, uh, as is the rest of the car. Um, here, we always check for our rust and like the low spots of these quarter panels here, and there's none to speak of. I mean, it's in really good shape. It's a really nice car, guys. Well, time to get to the good part. Let's go check out the big block under the hood. All right, guys, this is, this is the favorite part of the video for me. Um, this here is a big block Chevy. This particular uh, block casting was a 1979. However, it has been modified extensively since its first uh, debut. Uh, this particular one has a full Edelbrock RPM Performer top end kit, including the cylinder heads. Um, now, for, the, for those of you who do not know, that is a full retrofit roller, like a link bar style kit, where your uh, camshaft is completely rollerized. And uh, also, this has roller rockers in it as well, and it's the comp style stamp, or not stamp steel, excuse me, the uh, steel roller rockers that are on this. Very high quality, uh, one of the higher quality products that comp makes as far as rockers go. Um, high performance, everything inside the engine. I've actually had the valve cover off of this thing and I've inspected it. It's in really good shape, very nice inside the engine. Of course, very clean too. Um, on top of the, uh, in between the cylinder heads here, we've got a uh, 454R Victor Jr. This is a single plane intake. Um, however, the engine, the actual cubic inch is not 454. This is actually a stroked and poked uh, engine, which makes it roughly in the neighborhood of, I think it's a four, 89, if I'm not mistaken, cubic inch engine. So that is a stroker crank, and uh, I do believe it is uh, probably a 30 overbore as well, which is very typical with these. Um, but more uh, on top of the intake manifold, we have a Holley uh, carburetor that's been modified by Pro Systems, and I know from experience every car here that we've had with a Pro Systems carburetor has been one of the one of the 
more pleasurable to drive. And uh, this one is no exception. It, it, it drives very, very well, very, very speedy, as you uh, have seen in the rest of the video. Um, attached to this carburetor is a fuel pressure regulator here, as you need with that big monstrous fuel pump so you don't overpower the needle and seats. Um, see, I guess getting away from, well, I, we can't get away from the performance yet. We haven't even talked about the ignition yet. Uh, back here we have an MSD Pro Billet distributor. Uh, the coil is actually hidden underneath the dashboard on this car, um, but Pro Billet distributor on the thing with a set of M matching MSD wires on it. Um, next to the, where the wires hook up to the head, we've got a set of big primary tube and a collector, uh, I believe these to be hooker headers, uh, on this thing. Looking great. Uh, I can see here that all of you, looks like uh, the line kit, the, and by line kit I mean brake line kit for this car, looks like it was purchased for this car, uh, pre-bent because it's all very, very nice, very professional installation. Um, all, once again, I'd like to point out all of our nice AN black anodized fittings here. Moving forward, um, we got a really nice chrome alternator on the car. We got a really nice uh, water pump on the thing. Even like the front cover here is, is an Edelbrock cover, um, your timing chain cover, if you will. Um, nice, all the, like your brackets here, they look like they're March pulley uh, kits, and I have this on my personal car. March pulleys, that's one of the best pulley kits you can buy for the thing. We do have power steering on this car, and it makes it actually quite pleasurable to drive for considering the amount of performance that this thing has. And I'd also like to point out we do have power brakes as well with the correct disc disc master cylinder for the disc disc brakes that we have on the car. Um, and this engine actually does pull enough vacuum to make that vacuum boost booster work, which is very impressive uh, for whoever tuned this engine. They did a very good job. Nice steady vacuum. Um, wiper motor back here, it is hooked up. It does function um, both on high, low, and park. Battery hold down, look like it's doing its job. Uh, once again, uh, just like the lower hose, the upper radiator hose has been replaced. I mean, it's in good shape. Big old electric fans here keeping this thing cool. So if, you, God forbid, you ever do get stuck in traffic, it, it should stay cool. We've never had overheating problems with it yet here. Um, so I wouldn't imagine you would either. Uh, Champion aluminum radiator in the thing. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see here. Front, all your front end bushings look like they're in pretty good shape. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, all of the lines here, all the way up to the master cylinder, looks like they're brand new. As far as paint work goes, I mean, everything looks phenomenal in here. You can see that your firewall is painted just beautifully, just like the rest of the car. Inner fenders, the same thing. And uh, your, I guess, what would you refer to this as? I guess the forward radiator balance or whatever you'd like to call it. Um, this is just a really nice car, guys. It's, it, well, beast, not so much a car anymore. It's, it's kind of transcended beyond car at this point. But uh, if you'd like to have this monster in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this monster in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're gonna give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.